my mother died of stomach cancer and, and then um, when she finally died, it was like two or three years, yeah. really bad. And then I finally said, um, then I was starting to feel sick as well. And I was convinced I had stomach cancer because that's just the way it goes, you yeah. know. And uh, when I finally went to a doctor, he said, oh, we looked for all sorts of things, gallbladder and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, eventually he said, oh, we'll just do a pregnancy test. But I'd been told years earlier that I couldn't have children because I had all sorts of problems with adhesions or something in my uterus, I didn't understand. And I didn't particularly want children because really? I had because I had Reese yeah. and uh, my stepson. And, um, and I was quite happy with that. And it wasn't, an, uh, he came back, the doctor came back, he was a locum and he said, um, you're, uh, you're pregnant. You're for, wow. and I said, "Are you sure it's mine?" Because um, because I'd been told I couldn't have children, wow. and I was four and a half months. What? Yeah, I know. I'm a bit slow on the uptake. I know what you're thinking, but um, I was one of those weird women who still bleeds, oh, and I wow. did it with the three, whole time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, what would your signs be? You'd just be like, I'm feeling well, a bit feel, I was I'm feeling sick and I wasn't eating, bloated. but I thought it was just, you know, stress from my mother dying yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So the second time when I got pregnant, I sort of knew the next day practically because your body goes, oh yeah, I know what this is. And you did know? you try for your second child? Yes. Or was that yeah. Right? So yeah. once you had one, you're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm I didn't want him to be an only child because I felt that I'd been raised as an only child because of my brother the being 13 years older. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want him. But it's interesting because they don't really like each other. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they yeah. love each other as brothers, but they're so different. Yeah, well, it happens a lot. It's like mm. my sister and I are really different. And mm. you're brought up the exact same way. But yes. But you can just be so different. Yes, but they are very, very, very different from each other. Yeah, right. And they tolerate each other on a life level yeah. and, and I have no doubt they love each other yes but they don't they don't really have anything in common, in common. yeah but, so did you because so you feel like as a woman it's your given right to fall pregnant when you want but so many people struggle oh yeah so then when I hear accident babies happen when literally you've got like a 24 to 48 our period to fall pregnant. It's so incredible Isn't that it incredible? anyone falls pregnant, let alone when you're not trying. And I watched documentaries after documentaries because I'd never thought of having children, so I didn't know anything. Yeah. And it's like one in seven million chances or something that those little swimmers going along like that, you know, it's when they, they show you on the documentaries. Yeah, it's extraordinary. So when you found out you were pregnant mm. at four and a half months, what oh, was your reaction? Well, I remember I came home, and possibly this is why he left me 24 years later, but um, I opened the door and I said, I'm pregnant. And John just looked absolutely radiant. And I said, well, you're going to have to stay home and look after it because I'm not oh, giving wow. up work, I said, wow. which was completely the opposite to what happened. I then, I was, I had a very, quite a difficult pregnancy from then on because uh, they didn't know that I had high blood pressure. Right. Because it goes in the family. And so, and they couldn't put me on medication by that stage because I was too far gone. Right. And so he, and then he was failing to thrive and I had to go and wait in hospital for six weeks to have him she and all of that. Right. Anyway, um, he was born and he was a terrific baby. That's my eldest. He was a terrific baby, really placid and quiet and all that. Not now, yeah. but anyway, was then. And um, so, uh, it was it was an interesting time, and I was 38 too. And at that time, that was I was called um, uh, a primary, um, a, no, what was I called? An elderly prima gravida, which was nice. Wow. Old first mother, it means. Um, oh. And uh, and it was really not the dumb thing to be having children at 38. Yeah, right. I'm talking 28 years ago. Yeah. Um, and people sort of looked at me oddly and went, well, why are you having one now? And I went, well, because it happened, yeah. you know? Uh, and so, and then when I chose to have Charlie, which I was 41 when I had Charlie, um, people thought I was really bonkers. Yeah, it's funny. You know, but now well, it's, now now it's very much are, the norm. Yeah, for, wait until around yes, then to start. Exactly. It's like our ovaries haven't caught up with our lifestyle, you know? But I'm, I'm actually quite glad because I was, I was quite, established like I'd done prisoner yeah. and I'd done lots of um, television with Channel 9 and and all of that sort of thing and I was a step my career was established so when Sam was born I just said to John oh I can't work I just fell in love with him mm. and I said I can't work so I didn't work for 18 months yeah, I just right. stayed at home with him 
which is why I think the big mistake I made is why he's so dependent still on me. Whereas yeah. Charlie, we were just about to lose our house and all sorts of things happened when he was born and I had to go straight back to work. I went right. and did what's cooking for two and a half years yes. when he was about six weeks old. Oh, wow. And so he was left with the nanny, although I still breastfed him. I had him in the studio and stuff like mm. that, but he spent most of his life with the nanny for the first three years and he's so independent. Yeah, right. I wonder if it has much to do with it. Yeah. Still so, you, they say that you don't have much of a memory be before seven. Oh, I think you I do. I remember a lot too, but my yes. um, boyfriend Sam, he doesn't remember anything from even yesterday. Yeah, but, yeah, I know, but he's a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, most boys are like that. They don't remember anything.